So after the bridge, after the bridge and the fish, um, you just, you know, lie down, relax for a moment. Then we can inhale, stretch the arms up above the head, stretching tall, bring the feet together. It's kind of like you're waking up in the morning. And then exhale, either hugging the knees in. So there's kind of two ways to do it. You can hug the knees in and rock forward and back, rocking up. Or you can, let's lie back down. You can stretch up and then kind of come up in one motion, reaching the hands all the way for the feet. Just kind of a little bit more athletic coming there. Yeah. And then we can come up. So then for, for, for the sitting forward bend, the legs extended out on the floor. We try to keep the legs flat. Point the toes up towards the sky. We can reach the arms up. This will help to lift the heart and lengthen the spine. And then folding at the hips, we exhale, reaching forward. And you can take hold of whatever is comfortable. You, if you're you know, flexible like Kim, you can reach past your feet and grab your, grab your hands or your uh, fingers. Um, or you can just grab the toes. Or some people even are reaching for their ankles, and that's fine too. But we try to keep the legs straight here if it's comfortable. Sometimes it's not comfortable, it's okay to bend the knees a little bit. Um, but the forward bend is about bending at the hips. So you can see that uh, Ryan here, he's not as flexible in the hamstrings or the low back. So his low back's actually nice and vertical here. Um, so what we want to do is think about folding this low back forward. So I would, you know, to adjust this, I would just push a little bit here. You know, I'm not really pushing. I'm just giving that energy and it's not going anywhere. So this is kind of where he is. And then the rest of his pose, the only reason he's able to touch his toes is that his spine is really curling forward. So we're going to take a little bit of that curl out by reaching the heart forward. So think about almost like you're doing a back bend. You know, you want to lengthen the front part of your body. Here we go. And there we go. So this is a little straighter spine here. Um, so this is really what we want to work right down here. Uh, I mean, it's fine to grab your toes and kind of pull yourself forward, but you don't want to just be pulling down. You want to pull yourself forward and forward and forward and forward. There we go. And Kim's kind of at the other extreme. You know, she's, she's very flexible. You know, and her belly's pushing right into their thighs. So the same thing here, to adjust this, I would just be, you know, I always like to start at the base of the spine. Some people kind of start a little higher. Um, just to kind of make sure people are aware that this is where it's starting. And then if I feel like I want a little bit more leverage, I can slowly just gently walk up. And I'm going to release the shoulders a little bit. There we go. So I'm pushing, you know, pretty, pretty hard on her because she's a little bit more flexible. You know, sometimes people will come in here and actually bring their kind of low leg, their calf here, and they can push there, and then you can pull the toes back up. Beautiful. You know, and then the same thing here, sometimes just help to um, pushing the toes up. That looks good. The only thing is maybe think about creating more space right here. So still reach out, but then think about creating this nice space around the ears. And that's gonna use the, kind of the outside of the, the arms a little bit to pull forward, kind of a little bit more core rather than, you know, we're always so tense in the neck and shoulders, so we don't need to do that. We need to release there and then pull kind of from the outside all the way there. Beautiful. And then to come out, we can reach forward, inhaling as we come up, and exhaling hands behind for incline plane. So we can point the fingers forward or back. Typically in the Hatha flow, we point them back. Um, I just tell people typically whatever is more comfortable for the shoulders is fine. And then we'll inhale, we can lift up. So we try to bring the feet flat and we try to lift the hips as high as they'll go. Adjustment here, just grabbing underneath the low back and just gently lifting up. Sometimes maybe I'll even bring the knees slightly together to help bring the feet more towards the floor. So this is a pretty, pretty vigorous pose. Uh, most people feel this, you know, it's pretty difficult to do. Some people, if they're really open in the shoulders and in the back, it's a little less, less difficult. Then we can lower back down. Beautiful. 
so a good variation of this is to bend the knees, so keep the hands behind, just bend the knees and you can just lift up into kind of a tabletop. So it's quite a bit easier. Beautiful. Nice. And we can lower back down. So the idea is the, you know, the forward bend, we're stretching the back of the legs and the back, the whole back body all the way up to the neck. And then the counter pose kind of engages that and uh, prepares us for the next pose. Anything else we should do with forward bend or? Pretty basic yeah. pose. Um, trying to think. I mean, they had this, I don't know if you mean putting knees up or, or is that, that's No, we'll just do the basic. Maybe if, um, you try to adjust him, let's do that. Okay. So Kim will try to adjust or will adjust. <laughs> Ryan, and then I'll, I'll see, you know, just comment. I think we'll get kind of, because the subtleties of adjustment, especially in a pose like this, it's just hard to communicate them without seeing uh, what's going on. Mm -hmm. So right here, she's going to be, you know, lengthening the spine here. That's great, just by, beautiful. Well, she's an expert adjuster. She's worked with me, I'm very tight. <laughs> so if you can, try to this side, just so people can see you. Beautiful. So she's working the low back, that's great. You can notice she's, she's using her body, so instead of just pushing with her arms, she's getting into a position and she can just kind of lean and, you know, she's supporting by her legs so she's in control and then by using the body weight, uh, she's protecting herself, she can provide a much more controlled and safe adjustment for him. You know, and you can see very soft yet uh, kind of firm hands. Uh, releasing slowly, releasing gently. Beautiful. Any other? Uh, no, I think that's fine. You know, sometimes people in this pose, you can actually engage the thighs, and this will, there's kind of a reflex in the legs that will relax the back of the legs. If you really engage the thighs, you can also. Uh, pull the belly button, engage the belly, and pull the belly button into the, the spine and lift it up, lift the belly button up. So this has that same effect of lengthening the spine and then pushing the belly or pushing the low back. It's really the low back that you want to move forward. So you kind of pull the belly in and push the low back forward. And you can see it's just kind of like this inchworm effect of this lengthening of the spine forward. And uh, you know, so it's really releasing any tension um, in the back of the legs by using the core of the body. Beautiful.